Okay, I suppose we should flee this crime scene as quickly as possible after we brutally murdered a pregnant woman. What's down here? You saw nothing! We did nothing to that lady. But then again, her kids did devour us and then effed off. They're going to have some turbulent adult lives, aren't they? Like, they're not going to grow up to be the most well-adjusted of people. Okay. A little shortcut back there. Maybe this is them already. Who knows, isn't it? Like, the life of an insect only lasts, like, what is an hour for us is, like, 40 years for them. Or I'm talking to my bum there. thought that looked like a secret. Into someone's house. Home invasion. Okay. What is coming out of this little guy's head? That's what happened when um, someone exploded. Let's listen. Oh, uh, uh, you oaf. You wield your nail like a club. Is that one of the big guys that we beat? Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, what? Who are you? I see this old village. What a strange dream. To have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. Oh, he was a sly. Sly raccoon. Sly little buggy. I'm sly. Usually I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these rooms doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. Zelda, is that the name of the lady in the shop? Yeah, she's not too happy to be there. I wonder what this guy will do. You're exploring then. Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail though, and I can tell just by looking that you know how to wield it. Yes, I do. I'm very good at wielding sharp little things in my hand. Okay, that's all he has to say. So there's other knights out there other than me that are wielding nails. Are we like in an ant colony beneath a hardware store? I wonder how I get up there. Hmm. I'm sure that will be later in the game. Ah, that's why the shortcut that I opened up here is there for. It's what it's there for to get back up. Okay, let's look at the map. I think first things first, we're going to go to Dirt Mount. See if there's anything new there after beating Mother Gruz. We've gone to those two kind of places to the right of the map. There was nothing interesting there to see. So there's a big gap to the left. Let's head off over in that direction. So dirt mount and then to the left. The boys are back in town. Well, the Hollow Knight's back in town. Da -da -da -da, Tin Lizzy song, isn't it? Yeah, great band. Still in it. See, did this shop at that time? No, still nothing to buy. I wonder where Sly has gotten to. Will he be over by the elder bug? He must have something to say anyway. Oh, what a turn. Our shopkeeps come home. Just wandered back in. I hoped for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. Yeah, he was in a trance. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. Maybe Mother Gruz was possessed as well. That's why all that orange stuff exploded out of her when we beat her. She didn't want to attack me. Hmm. No competition. That's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. Okay, so things are going to be expensive in here. Sly. Ah, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travellers like you. If you're planning to trip below, I've several items that may improve your chance of survival. Give us a look. A mask shard. Merely a fragment of something larger. Still, maybe you can make some use of it. Yeah, I'll buy that. I probably should look through everything first before buying... Oh, is that like half a life if I get four of them? It's like the heart shards in Zelda. Aha, that's what that's going to be. A piece of a soul vessel. Yeah, that's what that's going to be as well then. That, that will probably upgrade my soul. A simple key. I'm going to come straight back for that. Well, not straight away. We'll explore a bit more, but I'm sure that's going to be useful for something. Gathering swarm. 
This charm will make sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. Oh, that's handy. A stalwart shell. Life in hollowness can be tough, always taking hits and getting knocked around. This charm grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Useful if you need to escape from a tight spot. That sounds interesting. What's more important, a light to guide your way or a friend who will stay by your side? Why not both? Take this bright little fellow as you... Oh, so that's to go through that cavern that was all dark. I knew I'd need something. Okay. I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down in the ruins. I suppose you could buy it. I won't miss its sour odor. A rancid egg. Who would want a rancid egg? Hmm. Nothing else I can afford then. Okay. Those all seem to be quite useful items that are going to help in exploration in one way or another. So we will be back. But first things first, let's explore the left of the map. Just realized as I went into the station that I'd probably be quicker just jumping down the well again and walking. Rather than going all the way to the right. And then back. So. Let's smash our way through. And gather Geo on the way. So, what I was thinking about today that I kind of wanted to talk about was... Kanye West has been in the news again. Please don't switch off just because I'm mentioning this man. I promise it, 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 it's somewhat interesting, the things I have to say about him. I don't know if everyone will agree. Oh, God, what am I doing? Damn you, Kanye! Ooh, forest. So... He's been saying some controversial stuff in the news again. Let's inspect this first before we go down talking too much about that man. The Pilgrim's Way, travelers of Hollow Nest, descend through verdant wilds and fungal grooves to the city at its this kingdom's heart. Their all wishes shall be granted, all truths are revealed. The truth of what's going on here, hopefully. One of these guys again. Hayden. Oh, that's kind of so. I wouldn't have been able to get past him even if I'd come down this way initially anyway. Oh, cool. That blasts through multiple enemies. Come on, spit out another one. Silly little gourd. Oh, it's been a few days since I've played. I'm blaming that on how bad I'm doing. Can't heal. What's more important, fighting or healing? I'm going to heal first, just in case. Come on, roll at me. Oh. Oh, what am I like? Oh. Okay, so we took a long ass route to get back to here, but at least we got a little gourd on the way. Not a gourd, gourd's what we're fighting. What are those little slug things called? We're just gonna call them slugs. Slug life. Come on. Okay, and that's that done. So, with the whole Kanye thing, uh, he recently put out a song with Little Pump called I Love It. Originally, when I first heard it, I was kind of in my head, because I, di I do respect, did respect a lot of his work, such as the college dropout and... Oh, what am I doing? Such as the college dropout and Yeezus. And I was like, okay, this seems to be a song that is tackling the culture in 2018 of where discussion about female sexuality is quite open and candid. And it seems to be embracing that in a kind of... It seemed to be a smart critique of it that while, yes, it appears that we can engage in a kind of grown-up conversation about it that women enjoy things that men enjoy also there's the whole thing of that 
I can't remember the lady who features in it. it this is particularly if you watch the video as well as uh, watching the song. It's kind of like she's talking about all the things she enjoys to do and what she likes to do. And then they're, oh, I love it. But they're kind of, when she's looking at them in the video, they're all like smiling and nodding and agreeing like, oh yeah, you're so great. You're great, you're great. And then it's kind of the female singer actress turns her back to the two of them. They start calling her derogatory names and going on about how much they love that. And it's like, yeah, that that is kind of what it is like, I mean, we let on that we're all for it, but I think there is kind of still a lot of toxic stuff that in private, even though that some men might appear. Ah, oh, this is a crazy level. So yeah, it appears that like uh, we support this sort of discussion of women being open and candid about their sexualities. That while in private, we're still a uh, just kind of juvenile, awful little boys. And that's kind of depicted mainly through the video that accompanies the song, in which you'll see, I'm not sure of what the lady's name or the singer slash actress that features in the video with them is called, uh, but she's shown as been kind of, whenever she's singing and talking, they're kind of there like nodding away and smiling and agreeing. And whenever she turns away and starts walking away, they start kind of rapping and saying the more awful stuff. Oh, nice little rest spot. And that every so often when like they're coming to an end of the verse, she'll turn around like if she's about to catch them saying the awful stuff and you like, it will either be Kanye or Little Bump will just kind of do like a woo. And it's like, yeah, they know what they're doing is wrong and they're trying to hide it and they don't want to get caught. Oh my God. There's one of us. Hello. Oh, she's a nice little theme song. Can't get up to her though. Oh, that's bubbling as well. That's not good. That's not good. It's never good. Oh, wow. He's, that's new. Oh, no. Um, so particularly as well in the video. So I talked about kind of how it's when it's, she's walking away and when she's turning around uh you'll notice as well that they're shown it's the way it's shot that they're kind of a lot smaller than her the way the camera points down it kind of makes them look even more childlike than they actually are particularly with the big blocky kind of costumes that they're wearing it gives that awkward kind of juvenile toddler look to them to really highlight that and a lot of people, I've said this to a few of my friends in conversation and they're like, I think you're giving a bit too much credit to Kanye West to be kind of criti critiquing this in his work. And at first I was like, ah, oh, no, maybe you're just too harsh. You're not particularly into rap music. You don't like that. And it's kind of his media persona puts you off. And in recent days with kind of the stuff he's been coming out with it, I'm starting to agree with them. I'm like, yeah. Maybe this is the classic. I, this is a tweet I saw actually, and it was summed up that like Kanye West, Kanye West, <laughs> good. Uh, Kanye West is the classic case of an artist, an artist with nothing left to say, and I kind of agree with it. Maybe like I was given too much credit to that sort of thing. Like, even though it is valid, it's definitely a conversation, and it's something that's happening in the world. It is true, and this is what I'm going to talk about now is a lot more serious than some. What is, for all intents and purposes, a novelty pop song? How do I get this down? Oh, I'm going to have to slash the rope. Yeah. Oh, I probably shouldn't have slashed that one, though. Can I push it then? No. Let's go out, and it'll probably revive. Or at least respawn. Even though none of the enemies respawned when I was coming through the level again. Come on. Oh. I have a feeling that that girl with the spear is going to fight like those things. Like it's the game is trying to get me ready for how the boss will play. She'll probably be like a harder version of that. Oh, no. oh I can still jump up. Okay. Wow. I didn't give you enough credit, little guy. Let's just jump around here first. So obviously, I'm not, I'm not sure how, I think this kind of did go pretty global, this uh, news story, that early in the year, there was a trial in Belfast about 
a young lady who um oh, I don't know how to talk about this because of how the trial went. She came forward and had said that she had been raped by some prominent rugby players and it went to trial and stuff and it it turned out in their favor it might be that the laws are bad in this country or whatever but it was decided that they didn't do what they had been accused of and that led to a whole big movement in itself but irregardless of that not irregardless i don't want to dismiss it a thing that can definitely be taken away from it is that as part of the evidence for her, for them, I'm not sure. There are WhatsApp messages and text messages needed to be presented to the jury. And it's like, the way that they spoke about women and their, uh, let's say, <sighs> accomplishments was no short of absolutely disgusting and dehumanizing and just altogether horrible. And it's like, People were shocked and outraged when these messages came to light and it was all over the news and stuff. And in my own head, I was like, ah, ah, this is gonna sound, but it was like, how many people were genuinely shocked by that? Like, I know a lot of people that say much worse stuff and equivocal on a daily basis. Like, this is something that men do. We might hide it well, but it is still part of our culture. Okay, we're back to the cartographer. Isn't this a contrast from the crossroads? Such a humid, lively place. The road twists and turns in the most wonderful ways. I've done my best to chart the area ahead, though I must admit some of the area's inhabitants proved quite a nuisance. Yeah, I'd agree, those little needle things. Yeah, I'll buy a map, Shanks. Shanks? Thank you. Do you have anything else to say? I met your wife, by the way. She's really nice, even though she seems bored running in the shop. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with your own thoughts, you forget the nice the tease of conversation. Oh, I know, Cornifer, I believe me, I know. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife, a huge unending kingdom to explore, right on your doorstep, who could resist? Anyway, let... I'll... Let you return to your travels with a little luck we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. Thanks, mate. Same to you. I'm sure I'll meet you again. Oh, so do we have a map of this area now? Let's have a look. Down. Okay, it looks like we can go down and to the right. Yeah. What was I saying? I've lost my train of thought now. More of these moss creatures. Yeah, I definitely think they're possessed by something with all this orange stuff. Yeah, I was talking about how it is. Like, I'm not, um, I do not want anyone to think that I am um, being like an apologist for this sort of stuff. Or particularly lads talking and saying things in the way that they do. I'm just saying it's something that happens much more regularly than people seem to be giving it credit for. And... I think that's a conversation that needs to be had with young men in schools and that, and just by their parents. Just it's like, this is how you talk about people, even though you might think it's funny, it's kind of dark and a bit effed up. Like, I'm not, like, I'm an advocate of comedy. Like, I love most stand-up comedy, and I think that most things can be joked about, but it's in the way that you go about it. And I think ju just saying vile, awful stuff for the sake of it is quite low brow and lowest common denominator and I, I think where we are as people we're past that oh god she scared me anyway let's discuss something a bit more light-hearted shall we these are cute insects that are whooping my ass i haven't really talked about the level design here i like how it's gone from the blues and purples to these kind of um greens these like glowing greens and purples even the background music it's so gentle and soft but then you can tell it's dangerous like look at all those stalactites again that are coming down dripping the water that must be where the moisture is coming from okay two hits to take him out not too bad come on mossy hmm i'm not gonna break up that geo rock just in 
case I die. Because I have a feeling I'm going to have to fight that girl that's leading me through. Because if you notice the way she moves, it's quite similar to the flies that we've been fighting. So I, I don't want to get involved in that. What the hell? Okay. Hmm. Don't get scared. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Shoot. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Whew. Oh. Occasionally I can be brave. Occasionally I can be stupid. Mainly stupid. Very rarely brave. We're coming along now to another bench if we keep going straight. I'm not going to make that jump up there. He doesn't seem to be hide. I'm, I'm not risking going into him. Oh, maybe I should have. Come on, come up. Guess I have to. Hmm. It's obviously just a little safe alcove for... Boom, that. Can you kill that bug? No. He just kind of scours away. Maybe you... Oh, silly! Look, you stop. You're leading me astray here, and it's not nice. You're leading me into all these big scary monster bugs. Leaf monsters. Hmm. Okay, this is a different area again. Uncharted territory. Come on. Oh. Oh. What the heck? Whoa. Oh, no. I was meant to heal, not shoot. Okay, these butterflies look... Mm. Th that, that just looks too scary for me. I'm a scaredy cat, scaredy cat, scaredy cat. Whoa, ho, ho. Okay, one. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. Yes. Got you in mid attack. Is that the Joker from the Dark Knight? I want you to do it. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. That was a terrible. That was actually more kind of like um, Mark Hamill's Joker. <laughs> Not too bad, so. Right character, wrong actor. Some of you are probably sighing in absolute disgust with how bad that impression was. And, you know, you're completely right to. Hmm. I look like I should be able to get through there. Ah, one more up. Oh, no. Haha. -ha. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I was outsmarting you. Come on. Yes. This really looks like I should be able to get through there. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. I was actually thinking a lot as well since episode two when I was talking about my obsessiveness with collecting. Uh, something that I see a lot of collectors would be into is comic books. And it's just something I've never managed to get into myself, really. Like, I've never been... Like, I, I watch comic movies, but I've never been a big comic reader. This isn't worth it just for some Geo. Three of those things, no. Death becomes me. Jump, jump. And, like, I'll go see most movies that come out like the bigger ones like i had no interest in seeing ant-man and the wasp or what else has come out recently oh venom's coming out today or tomorrow like i'm not gonna go see that like i've absolutely zero interest but what i well i it would be a lie to say that i never collected comics in any way because people who like proper comics now are gonna think i'm an absolute gobshite for saying this but I loved STC, Sonic the Comic, growing up. I was a massive Sonic fan. Sonic 2 was like my first game on the Sega Mega Drive. And he was like my hero growing. Are we just chasing her around in circles? And yeah, if there was any bit of merch with Sonic on it, I would buy it. And that was evident as I would buy regularly these comics. I'm not sure if it was just a UK-based thing or if it was American as well. Or did you have your own version of it? But it's fantastic. There were some great storylines that came through it. And it was really dark as well. Like, they weren't afraid to kill characters off and stuff. For, like, a Sonic game. Mm, maybe they do. I don't play Sonic. Like, I wouldn't have ever played. 
When did I stop it with Sonic? I went back for Mania, but I think the last game I would have prayed, yeah, prayed, played properly would have been, what am I doing? I am really messy here. Would have been Sonic Heroes on the PS2. I'm gonna die here now. Can I heal? No, don't have enough. Still not letting me through. So no. It's really hard to judge, oh God, especially when you're a fool and can't platform. There's much more platforming to this than I was actually anticipating. Oh, inspect. A toll machine with the symbol of a bench. Insert Geo, yeah? Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere now. It feels like I've gone off the beaten track and I'm not going in the way that the game intends me to. That matters not because we're making progress. I consider every, whenever you get to a bench, it's like you've moved a little bit further ahead than you were the last time. Like I'm not too upset if I die because there was a bench just there two seconds ago. Uh, what was I talking about with the comics? Um, I suppose I was much, even though I didn't collect comics other than the Sonic ones, I did collect a lot of magazines. Mm. There was also the Wally's Worlds, which if anyone like knows what where Waldo or where Wally is, depending on where in the world you are, what he's called. Uh, it was like a weekly kind of history magazine comic in which it was like Wally and friends would travel around ancient civilizations. It was like all the way up from like um, hunter gatherer, not hunter gatherers, like um, kind of cave art times at Stone Age. That's what I, that's the word I was looking for up until like the 1990s, I think was the last issue maybe. Yeah, it would have been definitely up to the 1990s because I think there was stuff about the Spice Girls in it. And that, that was a big thing. I learned a lot of my world history from Wally's Worlds because like you'd get all these facts and stuff and then it would be kind of dispersed with like kind of little puzzles like find Wally and friends and what has he lost in his travels oh he's lost his shoe this week can you find it in Caesar's palace not the Vegas Caesar's palace actual Caesar's palace in Rome okay we need to find a way to cut that down but the magazines would have I suppose gaming mags a lot I would have bought irregularly like if there seemed to be, oh this looks kind of cool. The greater mind once dreamed of leaf and cast these cavern so. In every bush and every vine, the mind of un reveals itself to us. Who's un? Is un like God? Hmm. Un, the great creator. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go back there. That wall smashed. Break this down. Oh ho ho! Enchanté! Oh yay! This is like, um, ups my health. Nice one. I can't tell where I am though. Right, let's go. Can I get down here? Yeah. And that is the vine, so I need to find a way to smash that. Hmm. I wonder if I can shoot up. No. I'll come back. We'll come back. Oh. A fight. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, this is going to be like those little sword guys that we fought originally, I'm guessing. Except much harder. <laughs> oh, I've no. Can I? Like that, yeah. So when he's into his combo, we'll attack him from above. Come on. Oh, shoot. No. Oh, I, okay, he can do a few different attacks. Yes. Heal. You have to judge when he's going to swipe and when he's going to do that kind of aerial one. Yes. Come on. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh. You're going to kill me. That's what you're going to do. 
right round two with this mofo. Yes, one down. Oh no. Greedy. Oh no, not greedy enough there. Yes, you can hit him when he's swiping as well. I wonder how many it will take to kill him. Okay, you can hit him when he's spitting. Yes. I'm getting a bit greedy. Yeah! Take that! Okay, nice. I wonder if that was a little secret mini boss. I wonder what the story behind him was. Or what that's gonna nab me. Debt, debt. It's always debt. Okay, now. So I was saying that I kind of irregularly would get comic mags. That would mainly be if I saw something on the front cover that I was interested in, i.e. Sonic or basically, actually, not even if it was something was on the cover. A lot of it was like if I was someplace, like if we were going on holidays or if I was like waiting for my mom to finish work after school, I'd like go into the local shop with a few pound that I might have and I'd just buy a magazine and read it because obviously the internet wasn't a thing. Well, it was a thing, but it wasn't a... Uh, Something that every household would have had back in the 90s, even in the early 2000s. So we did rely a lot on gaming magazines to know what games were coming out. Oh, I don't have a map for that area. I'm going to try and make my way. I said left, and I'm going to keep going left. Until I fall. That's down back to the boss. So yeah, all of our news would have been kind of gotten from magazines particularly with the gaming mags and stuff. I think that I speak, maybe it was in the Neo uh, Let's Play that I did about kind of like, I was a big Pokemon fan as well. So like loved red and blue. And eventually like the first time I heard of gold and silver was like in a magazine that was in kind of like, you know, and what the hell? I'll save you. Uh, another boss. Oh, he's dead. Whoa! Okay. Damn. Damn! Okay. Damn! Oh! Shoot! Don't come at me, don't come at me, don't come at me, don't come at me. Uh, I should probably jump down, that's one way to avoid his attacks. Yeah, it's giving me loads of room to maneuver around here. I shouldn't be just standing up there. Swipe up, swipe up, alter chroma again. It's telling me to make sure I did that in the last video. Oh, I, just need to, I just, I need to not waste my um, spirit soul on that. Yeah, I can just hit him. <laughs> if I can reach him, I can hit him. Come on. Yes. We'll use that to heal. This doesn't look like a guy that I have to fight. I can seem to, like it can escape through there. Yes. He's not too hard though, so we might as well kill him. To save our little friend, that who looks like another Hollow Knight. There's more than one of us. Is this gonna be like there's more than one chosen undead? They're just kind of like hedging their bets on us. See who can fulfill whatever we're meant to be doing. Or maybe he's just another adventurer. Why can't I hit this guy? Come on. Yes. 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 Loads in a row there. Three in a row. Again, it's the platform and it's getting me here. He doesn't attack at me that much. A lot of health though. Let's see if I can jump up at him and blast him. Yes! That finished you, boyo. Wow, that's a lot of geo. Whew! He exploded. Okay. 
Oh, he looks so grumpy. Just what do you think you're doing? You dare to come between me and my prey? Is it a habit of yours to scurry about getting in the way and causing bother? You were in his jaws. I saved your life. Zoth the Mighty. Know this cur. I, Zo I am Zoth the Mighty. A knight of great Rion. Cross me again and you'll find out why they call my weapon Life Ender. Take that, you mean, meanie. Why are you, what are you still bothering me for? I am a knight. I'm not interested in your childish games. I need my rest. You're you're the same size as me. Be gone, lest I draw my nail. What are you... Uh, just going to repeat himself now. Okay. I think we should end this episode with Zoth the Mighty. Because we've done too many bosses so far. And I think we've kind of gone over half an hour. So, thanks for sticking around, guys. I hope this episode didn't get too heavy for you. I suppose I'll come... Ugh continue talking about comic books and magazines and that stuff in episode four that'll be a whole topic onto itself so for now please like subscribe and share if you've not already tell your friends about this it would be great to see the channel grow a little bit and that, that can only be done with your help and your assistance so thank you and i kind of thought of a sign off so it'll just be for the hollow night and if it's really bad tell me and i won't say it again buzz off get it like a b and all the bugs Bye. Oh, maybe that's how I meant to get up to that guy. Ah, oh, no. At least I tried. Yeah! Knew there was going to be a trick to getting up to this guy. Easy as that. <laughs>